Welcome here to Zadar in Croatia. I'm here to undertake the second of my long distance swims in all the seven seas of the world. The reason why I'm doing this is to urge nations all over the world, not just here in the seven seas, but all over the world, to set aside at least 10% of our oceans as effective marine protected areas. Famous. We've made it. Sorry, we've made it. We're off to go and see Mathieu Zelek, who's a local yacht broker. He knows these waters really, really well, and he'll be guiding us during this swim. Okay, so let's start. Sukoshan, we are here. Yeah. And we want to come, we want to go here. The, this is the, the whole length, these are cliffs. Can we not have this debate? <laughs> Fine. Because I remember him sending me all over countries before. We have argued about this for 20 years and I'm always right. And he's always wrong. It always takes three weeks longer than we ever think it's going to be when we start. And I'm always mad by the end of it. What more do you want? That's true. <laughs> Start over here on the rock, right? 10 kilometers down to the end point over there. Right. Every 15, I, can you just give me a, a, I think a you thumbs. call it a thumb, and then we do a finger for the half. It's quite simple, this stuff. Right, you're going to start in five minutes. So get over there. Fair fight, yes. No biting, yes. No scratching, yes. A bit of swimming, yes. Good luck, my friend. Thanks, sir. Uh, Croatia is with you, yes. Yeah, thanks. Sir. Enjoy. Three, two, one, go! I think the trouble where he is now, it's all, it's all pumice and it's, in, it's incredibly sharp. The main issues facing the sea are overfishing. Again, you find it everywhere in the world here, dramatic overfishing. I've just been for a swim, and the biggest fish I've seen is literally this size. Now that's not normal. You go to places which are not overfished in the world, you go to the Indian Ocean, you go to places in the Pacific which haven't been overfished, and you see, you know, normal sized fish, big fish. Good. A little bit extreme. Okay, over to the over to the coast. Yep. Straight across and then follow the cliffs. I we counted 800 strokes and you say I've done 300 meters. It doesn't tally with me. Okay, so something's going wrong with the, with the GPS. Nothing's there. wrong with the GPS. We're, we're just short. Keep going. Okay. You're there. You're there. I'm behind you. Let me get a ladder. Well done. We've got some uh, steps on the other side. I've got side. steps from the corner for you. Oh, that was a... It was a tough one, eh? Yeah. Mentally. Long distance swimming is unlike any other sport. When you think goalposts are shifting, even if they're not shifting, when you think they're shifting, what is? your mind just goes. From a swimming point of view, that was an absolutely fantastic swim. I mean, the water was absolutely flat, and so you can see the, 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 the sea was warm. It was at least 27 degrees centigrade. It was absolutely fantastic. But from an environmental point of view, it was worrying, you know. Been overfished? It's as simple as that.
One of the major issues facing this world is how on earth do you feed a world's population of 7 billion people expected to go to 9 billion people? And what people around the Adriatic have been doing, they've been starting fish farms. We're now off to go and see a tuna farm. And tuna farms are very, very controversial. I mean, one of the main controversies is just how expensive it is. It takes at least 10 kgs of sardines or mackerel just to get you 1 kg of farm tuna. Those tuna are then caught, they're then put on an aeroplane, flown all the way to Japan, okay, for the sushi markets there. There's absolutely nothing sustainable about that. The only way to ensure that these seas really recover, that the habitats recover, that the fish stocks recover, you know, is to stop the overfishing and also to create marine protected areas. They're absolutely fantastic. They give the, the fish and the habitats a respite give them a place where they can recover nicely. And where these have been done around the world, we've noticed just how quickly it is that the fish stocks and the habitats are recovered. There's Pew, down there. Hopefully he's putting his budgie smugglers on. And we found ourselves the perfect shooting spot. This is uh, National Geographic. Mm.